There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. I'm back at your girl April and I decided to do my video where I used to do it. The reason for that is the sunlight where I'm sitting at is like perfect, perfect daylight. So it gives me natural lighting. Um, I don't have to use so many lights on me so I'm not sweating to death. Um, especially it's really good for my makeup videos. So I decided to come back to this. I will switch it back and forth but for now being I'm just going to come back to this scenery and you'll see me probably pop in and out of different places but this is like the place that I love the most because of the natural sunlight so if you hear a little wind blowing it is actually my fan because I'm still super duper hot um, I just drank some wine which makes me really really hot this month I have my boxy charm and you guys know I really really love boxy charm and for the past couple of months I haven't been too pleasantly pleased with the products that have been in the boxes like I've liked some of them but not as much as I normally do but for this month I'm rather I'm actually really really pleased of what they have so this one is the gorgeous globe trotter and this is really cute because it actually looks like a postcard and one of the products that I have on today is actually for my from my boxy charm box which I'm going to show you first and I'll tell you that you only play I think it's like 21 20 to 21 dollars a month but the products in here are actually well beyond the price point so the one thing that I'm in love with and I love gel liner is the Micah Beauty black gel liner this stuff is like amazing it's a really jet black but it's not so thick to where it's going to dry out it's a really kind of in between liquid and creamy um, gel liner and I absolutely love it I have it on my eye today I used an angle eyeliner pencil or uh, brush to go on with it and it went on so smooth and just like fabulous so, so excited to get and now I have Revealed and Revealed 2 and the Revealed 3 palette by Coastal Sense. This is ranging for $39, but you can always catch it on sale for $20 at um, Coastal Sense. And I love these palettes because there's an array of colors. And I do have the one in two. And the colors are so pigmented in these actual palettes. So I will tell you, if you guys are looking for something that's really inexpensive, I would highly suggest checking out the Coastal Sense Revealed Palette. Seta, I think that's how you pronounce it. Seta Eyeliner Brush, which is $16. And this is just a really small eyeliner brush. You can achieve flawless lines. Really thin lines if you're going, or if you're looking for that thin look. Um, for me, these are kind of a little bit harder to use, so I prefer the angled line brushes because sometimes my hand is not so steady or it's a little shaky so I do prefer like an angle eyeliner brush but the color is really cute and it's very summery and pastel like Even conditioner with Moroccan argon oil and this is by Neo Shield this is in the price range of $26 now it's really um, just a nice layout or design because it does have the pump bottle so this is what you would want to leave in your hair if you don't want to condition it or you can also condition it and just put this in it as well so for $26 I will be trying this out probably like on one of my curly units um leave-in conditioner gives it a natural shine a natural sheen and it does have SPF 15 for your scalp frizz control sunburn shield and it's also hair color and texture protection so Susan brand makeup cosmetics and this is actually their highlighting stick I have not tried this out yet um, so I'm going to try it out now with you on camera. This is in a full size and this is $20. I actually do have some products from So Susan from like months and months ago that I never got around to reviewing. I actually forgot about it so I'm going to show you them now. It's kind of like a shimmery pearl color. I'm um, not really sure. It's a highlighting crayon. I'm not really sure what color it is but let's just see. This is like a highlighting color that I would use like on a normal basis because of the actual color. If you're wondering about the actual hair that I'm wearing today, this is a unit that I created with some kinky curly Brazilian kinky curly hair all in 16 inch bundles. So there's three full bundles and a 14 inch closure. And this is hair from Ally Express, which I will be doing a review on as well. So as I was going to say, I was going to show you the So Susan that I got. Um, True Beauty is rare. So this is a little makeup pouch that it came with. And I got this like back in March. 
um i will be honest and tell you when i looked at it um i wasn't like really too impressed so i think that's one of the reasons why i didn't get around to reviewing it it kind of reminded me of like teenage makeup so now that i have this um i'm gonna go ahead and show you so this is the cheek jelly which is basically a blush and so you can put this on your lips and your cheek so i really wasn't too happy about this because it just kind of looked kind of kind of cheap to me and it just looked like something that you would get at the dollar store which i like the dollar store but i wouldn't put this on my face um because it's so watery based it's a water-based substance the undetectable concealer it's rather or less like like all concealers or well not all but for the most part a creamy base and this is probably going to be work this will work great for my units my wigs um just for the concealing or like the knots, I would definitely use this for that. It does come with a small mirror, so this I do like, and I will use this, and I'll probably use this on my units just for where I'm doing my parting at because it's actually the same color as I use. It's a plumping lip tint. Really cute. It's a really pretty color right here. So it's kind of like a mauve color. I do like this. It's just that some of the items were, I was not really, you know, impressed with. The Supermodel Satin Lip and Cheek Pomade. Little tiny quad of four different colors. And you can either use these on your lips or your face. So it's really, really tiny. I'm not really sure the price point of this. But they're really creamy. Um... I would say the one that gives the most color is the red color. The ones the other color really don't give too much color. So another product that I got, and I did a video for this company a while ago, is Scentbird, which is a monthly per perfume subscription. Subscription, okay. And for those of you who love perfume, you can get a small bottle of like carry along perfume every month, and it's a monthly subscription. So this one is Burberry Brit. It comes in these cute little bo um, bottles, which I like. I said you can take with you. All you need to do, now the first thing, when I first got this thing, I was like so confused. Like, how do I open this? I was pulling at the top, pulling at the top. All you really need to do is really twist it and it comes out. And this Burberry Brit, I will tell you, it smells heavenly. Like, it smells divine. So this one is kind of in the in between of strong and light. It's like in the medium zone of perfume. And it does come with this cute little velvet bag. So you can carry it along with you. And you won't have to worry about it spilling out into your bag. Just make sure you close it. But you also have this cute little pouch to take along with you so this is from scentbird and i will put their information for you guys below something to as well for my face which i'm trying out and i will tell you guys how i feel about it but this is the actual organic kojic soap so these bars are really huge this is skin and body care I really like to use this on my face because it's organic. When I wash my makeup off, it's really not too clean my face. So I do use like my bars, my beauty bars, or my sponges, my beauty sponges to remove any excess makeup. So I find that that works really well for me. So I thought I would give this a try. And it's a really lasting bar. This is by Marie France. And like I said, it does smell really, really good. Um, It doesn't have like a strong smell, but... It kind of reminds me of a very, very kind of like light scented fruit. Um, but I will be honest and tell you that it does help remove your makeup really well. Other than that, I'll use like Noxzema or the Walmart brand Noxzema. And it'll give me like this perfectly clean skin that looks like it was never tampered with. Like it's so, so clean. It's not oily looking. It's just not, it's just clean. I will put this guys for you below. The last item that I'm going to show you guys in this video, and it is a must have. If you guys don't know, I love makeup brushes. I have like this humongous collection of makeup brushes that I absolutely adore. Um, I just, I'm not really sure why I love makeup brushes, but they are one of my favorites because I like to have many different ones because each company has their own interpretation of what is what. So I have like my favorite brand that I've been using for like three to four years now. And um, I swear by them, like by all means, I super duper swear by them. Um, so when I get different makeup brushes, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't really know if I'm going to try this out because I like what I like and I have what I like already. So for this one, and I hope I'm saying it correctly, it's Cicero Beauty. And this is their makeup brush set that I have here. And I will give you a 10% code that you can use at time of checkout. 
So that way you can save a little bit of money if you want to get some makeup brushes. Luxury collection and it comes in like this cute little makeup case. It looks like a binder or a planner. It does zipper open from the side. So I've actually already went ahead and used it. So of course you'll see that they're a little bit out of place. I will start out with this one here which is the Jumbo Fan Brush. I like to use this one to contour with a lot. Um, especially if it's with powder foundation or powder... Um, pressed powder that's darker than my skin complexion I will use that as well as I'll contour with my bronzer so this is what I like to use a lot all depends on the actual fluffy brush or the excuse me the fan brush if it is one of those really thin fan brushes then I'm not really going to use it at all I won't use it um I like them when they're thick like this because this gives you like the perfect contour for your face it kind of like angles it perfectly it's the right size and so forth so I do like to do that with the fan brushes especially if they are large enough tapered powder brush and this what I like to use for is like using it with blush using it with setting my facial powder like my bat my setting powder and things um you can do like an array of different things with these brushes this is a really soft brush so they do handle well this is the round top found um, the round top foundation buffer um this to me i really wasn't like a huge fan of it because it seemed like it it kind of seemed like it was seeping or just sucking up most of my foundation so i seemed like i had to use more with this one it's great for if you're finished your application of putting your foundation on and then you go ahead and use it just kind of like buff it out and give it like a seamless flawless look then that's what I would say to use this particular brush for is the flat top contour brush now I have several of these by different brands um, I will tell you this I'm not really a huge fan of them because to me they just give you kind of like more or less a lined look it really doesn't kind of it really doesn't chisel your face it just kind of gives you like a lined contour or oh, when I do like cream contours and things the only time I would use this is for my the bridge of my nose but I wouldn't use this on like my facial area I'll use more or less my beauty sponge to do like cream found on um, cream contouring on my cheekbone area but this is a really good um, brush for like the nose bridge and even up here in this per, um, area as well the, um, tapered setting brush um, the well Yes, the L06 is the setting tapered brush. So they do have numbers on them as well. This I do like. Because of the size, I will contour with this. I will contour my cheek areas as well as my nose. You can use this brush for just about whatever you want. Although it says setting brush, I would basically use this for like chiseling out my cheeks. Um, especially when I'm doing like my bronzers or my highlighting. The brush head is so, it's just like so shapely. It's in like a nice dome shape, but it's very soft and it just gives the right density for contouring with. So this is what I would use this particular brush for. Small tape blending eye brush I like the small ones um, I have my favorites the small ones it just seems like it gets right in the crease and it tapers it and it blends it well is the small shader brush this is the one that I did most of my eyeshadow with look today which is a really good brush the density is good so it does pick up a lot of eyeshadow um, the bristles are super soft um, the handle is just the right, about the right size some handles are kind of thin and some are too long or short I do like them to be in this range of the family so yeah I do like this brush a lot the universal eye brush I will tell you I do have one by Mac like this and I loved it um, I use it like quite frequently it's a universal blending brush you can use it for any just about anything I used it to put on my eyeshadow to blend in my eyeshadow to taper to put on my highlight with my eyes so if you don't have a lot of brushes this is a must-have brush here is the eyeliner um, pencil um, brush which I'm not like a huge fan of like I showed you the smaller brushes because of the thin brush my hand is not as steady so I really do prefer like the more angled eyeliner brushes that just these those just work better for me but it is a bent liner brush so depending on how, how you hold your pencil or your brush this does work a lot easier but I would need the bristles to actually be a different shape or different angle small round concealer brush um I did use this and I used this to actually blend in my nose area. I didn't use it for concealer. I actually used it to contour my nose with. Um, but you can use it for concealing. These brushes are rather great using for concealer brushes, especially under the eye area. The bristles are very dense, um, but soft. So this gives like a great airbrush kind of look. And this is the 05. And the last brush in the collection is the Flat Top Kabuki brush which I did use to set my makeup powder. 
I love like the flat brushes. You guys can see me do like loads of different makeup looks. I always use like my E2's Kabuki brush, which is handles a little small and it's retractable. But I do like these a lot better because it just gives me a much better application, especially when it comes to my pressed powder. So this one here is a kind of not too heavy, but it's not small. Like I've seen some Kabuki brushes where the actual handle part is half of the size and it's very lightweight. This one is more sturdier than what I've been used to and I've noticed. So it does come in this cute little binder like case. I will tell you this, I wasn't too pleased with the actual smell when I first got it. Once I opened it up and just let it air out, you know, I took it out of its plastic and it just was sitting around, the smell did go away. So if you get one and you're noticing that the smell is not your favorite, then just let it sit out and air out. The smell will actually go away so it doesn't have a smell at all. But this is cute because you can take it with you wherever you want. It zippers up so you don't have to worry about your brushes falling all over the place. I will post all the information to the products that I've showed you guys in this video as well as the hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay diva and divalicious. And make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.